What is up everyone, this is Arcando, and today I'm going to show you how I made my brand new release like this, which is out now on Enhanced Music. I'm super excited to show you guys this project, so let's jump right into it. So we're going to start off with the intro, um, sounds like this. So the intro is a really kind of basic intro. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, some pianos for the intro. Pianos from Contact, uh, really nothing special. Uh, I think it's from um, uh, the Grandeur and um, Maverick, stuff like that. Um, really great sounding pianos for the intro, kind of, you know, dull sounding. Um, good for, yeah. As I already mentioned, good for an intro. Um, some vinyl stuff, uh, some crackle um, to basically fill up the, the piano sound even more. So yeah, super cool sounds, um, and then some to so yeah, some tonal atmospheric sounds um, like this. Really cool to accentuate the piano sound. Um, so then we we'll move on to the actual break, uh, super, yeah, super chill kind of vibe that I wanted to, to put here. Uh, I'm going to start off with the muted guitar sound. Um, so the guitar sound is from Contact and it's, uh, the mutant slap expansion. Um, it's a free expansion, or uh, like a free uh, sample library uh, from Contact, and it's a really, really great uh, library. So I would definitely highly recommend you guys getting this one. Um, put some EQ on there, some compression, and another EQ to smoothen out the edges a bit. And yeah, that, that's basically it for, for that one. Uh, added a, a bass to it to give the guitar a bit more body um, and now we go on to the yeah now we move on to the, the drums drums are really yeah really energetic yet kind of old sounding So yeah, um, really kind of, you know, Mumaton type uh, type of vibe with it, uh, really like strong kick, uh, snare is also really, you know, kind of kind of soft, but still has that like 90s vibe to it. That's something that I wanted to create, obviously, with, with, the, with this break for this record. Um, something that really drives this song is, is this. It's a guitar strum, uh, basically sampled from from a guitar sample I got uh, and put it together with the shakers and yeah that's uh, that's that's that basically uh, some vocal atmospheric stuff as well this is really handy to fill up uh, the empty spaces in the drop um, you know to to do some like crazy uh, vocal effects with it now this is already in one stem because I made this in an older project. I think this song, uh, this is not even the final project. Uh, I think I made this song in like four different projects. Um, so that's why, you know, some stuff is already uh, joined and glued together, obviously. So the second part of the break um, hasn't, yeah, doesn't have a lot of new elements, but has these like snaps mixed with the, the snare. So there's a kind of like a, a new kind of element coming in um, and some new instruments, instruments <laughs> uh, like uh, the strings, for example. Um, some e-piano. Super simple, it's just from Nexus. Um, it's called Trash Chords from the Expansion EDM3. Uh, really cool and a really low sub bass. 
to you know uh, yeah put the lower end of, of, of the brake there basically um, then, then we move on to the pre-chorus and the pre-chorus sounds like this Really energetic pre-chorus in my opinion because there's a lot of uh, drum hits and stuff going on here. Um, so let me show you. Um, so the, yeah, obviously the most important part of this pre-chorus um, are the pianos and the, the guitars uh, and uh, the vocoder effect. It sounds like this. The vocoder is actually a plug-in from Waves. It's called a, the Mo More Photo Effect, <laughs> um, and yeah, it's. Wait, let me unfreeze this channel real quick. Um, so this is the what I had as a setting. Um, you have like several plugins, but I like this one from Waves a lot because it's it's just it's compact, it's subtle, um, and it's not like it's not like it's it's too much of the effect. You know, like. It's, yeah, I don't know, it's just like a basic vocoder, but mixed with the vocals, it sounds really cool. So let me just solo that with the vocals. I don't want to wait till morning, I don't want to break your heart in two. It gives like this really epic um, fill, because obviously there's, you know, you, you drop out um, of, of all the, the rhythms that have been there in the, in the break. So for the pre-chorus, you know, you want to have something else that like fills it up. So instead of the rhythm, something like a vocoder uh, could work r really well. Um, so yeah, and then, so this part is like super quiet. And then this part is where most of the energy comes in. Um, so a lot of war drums, a lot of snare fills, stuff like that. So let me just solo out all these. Uh, um, stems for you. Um, so yeah, nothing, nothing special, but it's it's mainly um, all the layers. So for example, we you know we have this, another hit. That's just basically accentuating the high end of. Of the attacks and reverse things. Uh, some snare fills, plus this like huge military snare uh, uh, fill. Um, so yeah, that that's really cool, and that's basically driving the entire. Um, pre-chorus for for this record um, uh, and then yeah also something that you know you definitely need to, need to add uh, in the pre-chorus is of course a sub bass so same sub bass as from the break comes in um, so yeah and then we move on to the drop but baby when I do it's gonna feel like So obviously, as you, as you can hear, there's not like um, a vocal lead yet to this because I did it in another project. But I'll show you later uh, what I did for that uh, for that vocal lead um, in in the drop. But to get all the other uh, elements, first let me just run you through them. So um, we're starting off with a lot of the the brass hits. So for example, this one. Plus, you know, two more. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, you know, a heavy one, some really low ones, and all that just gives uh, the drop a, a lot of more attack to it, a lot of more aggressiveness, because otherwise it would just be, it wouldn't be anything special or something, you know what I mean? Um, so then we'll move on to the bass section. Bass section sounds like this.
a really fat and, and aggressive um, group. So this is the first one, just massive. Uh, another bass, I think this one is yeah, Spire, kind of like a Melbourne kind of bass. Uh, yeah, so a lot of a lot of really great uh, bass elements for this one. Um, super plucky, so that's why it's also like really driving it. Um, and I think that's also for the sub bass. You know, super short. Um, yeah. So mixed with that, we have the pluck. So basically, the, the chord progression. Um, so it's uh, it's silent. It's a silent pluck. Um, this chord progression actually. Is, uh, is from Contact, it's the same uh, sound that we use in the break for the guitar pluck. Um, and that's that's what I wanted to have, you know, to bring in that element um, back in a drop. So that's how I did that. Um, and then another pluck. And then all together, that just creates like the full body of the drop, basically. So now we move on to um, the drum section. Now this is a really interesting part. A lot of stuff is going on here. A lot of stuff is going on. Here. Um, so let me solo out everything for you. So this is how it sounds. Wait, <laughs> there's even more. Um, So yeah, a lot of things going on here. Um, so we have the the kick, which is uh, actually three kicks. Super fat. I just sampled it from another uh, another single of mine. It's called "Is It Possible." Basically, copied that kick and put it in, in this one, and then layered it with two others. Uh, snare, also you know like a lot of a lot of layers. There's actually one missing, but yeah, like five layers of snares. Um, some hi-hat loops, plus, plus uh, some crashes. Super groovy. A lot of percussions already in those loops, so that's really cool as well. Um, and yeah, some vocal atmospheric effects, like for example this one. And um, stuff like this. And that's basically uh, the entire drop. There's nothing much to it, but I would love to show you um, the the vocal, actually the vocal drop. So let me import actually um, the vocal dry. So in the meantime, I'm going to explain to you what a vocal it is. So the vocal is actually from Kara, and um, the vocal. Um, like she has like a ton of sample packs out on Splice, really great ones and really great quality ones as well. Um, so she has ad libs, full vocals, but for in this case and mainly for the drops, what you want to look for is like ad libs because it has the vowels in them. Um, so what I did is I I found a vocal and I was super happy with it. I was like, oh this could work, you know, I found it on the splice, so I downloaded it, um, put it inside the drop, and I start processing it. So I loaded already uh, all the plugins for this. Um, of course, after a lot of cutting and stuff, um, this is what I had. Like, it's not even in the right key, um, but just for the sake of it, um, you know, I, I just kept it like this and wanted to try it out afterwards. So, a lot of effects. Let me run you through them. So, first is a saturation to give it a bit more distortion to it. Uh, Sidechain, CLA2 as a compression. Um, uh, some EQ. A lot of low cutting right here. Um, because after the distortion and compression, you will have like harmonics, 
and the low end coming in, of course, that's not something you want, so you have to like take it out. Um, a deesser, little alter boy. This is probably like the best plugin that I use for this. And that's how that uh, got uh, you know to its place. So I put the foreman down to like minus two point three pitch to minus three, so it's in the right pitch. Put the drive, you know, played a bit with it, so it's like 25%. And that's how you get that, like, you know, like, like this cool vocal vibe, basically. EQ, some delay and reverb. Probably the best reverb, in my opinion, is the Valhalla reverb. Um, didn't put a lot of reverb to it. And then, yeah. Ooh, it starts lagging. <laughs> Well, anyway, you get the point. Um, so, yeah, so that that's the drop basically, and that's how I process uh, process the, the the vocal drop as well. Um, so for this second part of the verse, it's 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 basically it's it's all still the same as in the uh, as in the verse first. Only thing is I started with the snaps first and I added a bit of effects like a downlifter and stuff. You know, to really drive that. Let me actually remove the vocal chop again because it's it's killing the entire CPU. Um but yeah, it's there's nothing much to it, it's just the snaps and the um Yeah, nothing special, you know, it's 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 still the same thing. Um, and then in the second part of the uh, of the, the verse, we have the vocoder coming back in again. Um, yeah. Uh, some other vocal effects, let me show you. Stuff like this. Comes again. To really, you know, uh, have an extra layer with the pre-chorus, uh, so that yeah, that's really cool. Um, same sounds, really nothing special. It's only subtle changes that I added. So the vocoder effect, extra vocal chants, extra vocal effects to to drive it a bit more. So yeah, and then again the drop, uh, and don't mind it, obviously, because I, I removed the, the vocal lead, <laughs> um, because it was taking way too much CPU already, that's why everything is frozen. Um, um, but yeah, so that's 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 basically the case, and then um, I actually made a bridge here, but it's not in the original song. Um, but yeah, that's it, really. Um, so... And then I had another project where I mixed the entire song. Um, but yeah, it's just basically slight EQing, slight mixing it. And um, and, and like this was, was done, basically. Um, so yeah, this was a tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Um, maybe uh, I want to do some more videos in the future. Let me know if you guys like that. And see you guys soon. Cheers. Check it out.